All right, this is going to be a bare bones uh, basic explanation of nitrogen cycle. And if you're not in my class and you're studying this, you may, you know, complain that oh, you know, I didn't mention this, I didn't mention that, ammonia, nitrites, things like that. But um, for our purposes in my class, um, this is basically what we need. So we'll start off with N2, which can be called free nitrogen nitrogen and it's free nitrogen because the nitrogen is just in its diatomic state N2 just two atoms of nitrogen it's not connected to any other element and it doesn't form any other complex compound it's just nitrogen and um, the element nitrogen is necessary for um, all life for you know animals and plants um, Unfortunately, in the state that it is in the atmosphere, N2, plants and animals can't just use it. It has to be changed. And that term is called nitrogen, nitrogen fixation. And you can think of it, you know, the nitrogen has to be fixed so that we can use it. And one way that nature provides us with nitrogen fixation is through lightning that's lightning um, and when lightning hits the atmosphere it will change that free nitrogen into a new compound and that we will call a nitrate a nitrate okay and so it changes to a nitrate and that nitrate can then be used by a plant taken up by the roots. So the lightning strikes, changes it into a new compound called a nitrate, and that nitrate can then be absorbed under the ground by the roots of a plant. All right. So one form of nitrogen fixation is through lightning. Okay. All right. And then there's a second form of nitrogen fixation, but we're going to get to that a little bit later. So this nitrogen enters the plant, and then, you know, of course, animals eat the plant, and the nitrogen enters those organisms. And so we have my nice little mouse here. That's a mouse, if you couldn't tell. And unfortunately, the life of the mouse is going to be short in our explanation, and the poor mouse dies. And so when that poor mouse dies, the compounds inside that mouse will decay through the use of decomposers. And it will decay and through let's see, let's use a different color. And through the process of bacterias bacteria, it will change back into, well, let's put it, let's put it over here, back into N2 again, our free nitrogen, but this time that free nitrogen is going to be in the soil. All right. Now again, this free nitrogen can be used by the plant, but again, it's going to need some help and the help that that it has is these little nodules they're called of bacteria and so these different types of bacteria live off of the plant All right it eats from the plant and but um, it also provides it with nitrogen and so these nodules change it again to that to that NO3, right? That NO3 molecule. Okay, so that's a negative sign. All right. So the second form of nitrogen fixation is from bacteria. Nitrogen is called nitrogen fixing bacteria. All right. Who'd have thought it? And so. Again, to review 
um, organisms die, they decompose, and it has all these nitrogen compounds in it. It decomposes it, and uh, bacteria breaks it down even further into this N2, and the N2 can be changed into nitrates by the use of these bacteria that are on the plants. Okay, And then finally, this N2 can either go to the plant roots or it can return into the atmosphere and this process with the use of bacteria, the help of bacteria, is called denitrification. Just fit. Denitrification. And so denitrification is when bacteria changes these compounds, these nitrogen compounds, into N2, and then it will go back into the atmosphere. All right, and here's the part where I alluded to before, where um, the organisms break down and it turns into ammonia, and then to nitrites, and then to nitrates, and then it goes into the denitrification. Um, you know, but we're not going to get that complex. So to review. The big three terms I want you to remember is one, free nitrogen, okay, which is the N2, all right, that we can't use in its natural state. Nitrogen fixation, which changes the N2 into these things called nitrates. Nitrates. All right. The two ways of doing it is through lightning and through bacteria on the roots. Okay? And then the third term that we need to be aware of is this thing called denitrification, which um, where bacteria bacteria decomposes the compounds, turns it back into N2 and brings it back into the atmosphere. All right. I know it's a little long. Um, the process gets, process gets a little bit uh, complicated. Hopefully this clears, clears it up. Watch the video a couple times. Hopefully it will become clear to you.